video games. Rules in place for that? Wait, me, Brawler? What? Is, uh... This is gonna be so exciting. This is a very first Xeno Wi-Fi match, and it is oh, me, Brawler God. versus Game and Watch. I'm excited. I don't know about you, Jewel, but I'm I'm a, I'm getting I'm, like pretty, I'm getting pretty hyped. Like I said, a hundred go. Oh, Nia, Nia, that's like. That's a, that's a good character. Could have been in this game, but it's, it's me brawler instead. So um, we're starting off with Game and Watch uh, Nairs. I I feel like Game and Watch is a good, is a good character for just getting in whenever you want. Uh, but the conversions are are harder for him. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Um, um, he has a lot of really good, like, low percent stuff, but then he definitely, like, struggles to take out the stock at some higher percents. Yeah, um, hardly any kill setups that make games longer than they have to be. Uh, oh, yep, but able to catch the flip kick, his, or yeah, whatever the me equivalent really is. Really good. Down smash into F smash. Ooh! Oh, we're working with the, with the suplex side beat. That thing's really good at- I think it does 20% if I recall correctly. Oh, wow. Reverse uh, back here. And Elo, platform. Like, oh this advantage save from Elo. Oh. Okay. Uh, Pink Cage finally gonna find his way to some damage, but only gonna do 26%. And if he doesn't figure anything out in the next few seconds, uh, we might see. Ooh. That'd be actually almost killing. And it's actually really good, like, shield pressure as well, like, with those back hills, because if you condition them to shield properly, I believe Mibrelu has access to, like, one or two command grabs. Right. Um, easily be the stock there as well. Oh, wow, he just barely got I think I think Pink Cage tried to uh, parry that, the back air. Mm -hmm. Not gonna get it, though. Uh, and we're looking at an even-ish game. Pink Cage can find the kill. Oh, no, are you dead? You're at 86%, <laughs> that's gonna be the down smash, up smash. The same way as last time. Yeah, I mean, like this is the second way that Elu is getting hit by this. Like Elu has to find like a better way just to maybe space himself just a little bit further back, or maybe not commit to such hasty landing options when you know he's like at above seventy percent. Because I mean, in advantage, Elu is kind of doing his thing. He just has to be a bit more patient and disadvantage, not fall for game and watch one or two kill setups. Mm -hmm. Especially at eighty percent, you should not be dying at those percents. Might be able to mash a little bit faster as well, but. Ooh. But now we're worse. just trading neutral wins. Not a whole lot of advantage this uh, this last stop from Elu. Oh, and we're just gonna as a D. We're just out of here, and we got the Tom Tom board uh, with the bells ringing. Uh, and that's gonna be game one. That was actually. Uh, that was a relatively fast game one, yeah. Um, yeah, it was think... like really quick. <laughs> I think the dynamic that they already, like, set up is, like, okay, Elu is the aggressor. Like, we see, like, Pink Cage, like, definitely circulating around the platforms, catching Elu's jump-ins a lot with Mutual right. getting, like, the early percent, but then doesn't really have to worry about confirming stocks at higher percents, right? Doesn't have to really worry about that kind of, um, that pressure because Elu jumped into Down Smash twice. And yeah. SD. <laughs> um, Pink Cage would get him to killing percent and just kill him. <laughs> and then the last... That's probably why the game was so quick, actually. That's gonna be that's how quick games are gonna be if you if you don't avoid your opponent's kill options. All right, guys, we're going back to Town and City. We're going to Town and City, sorry. And Pink Cage picked uh, Game to and Town Watch. City. Wait, how do you even know that? Because I am watching the match, like the, the I'm monitoring the match. They, <laughs> uh, they banned they banned the stages on Smash GG. Bro, you and, you, uh, you you hella spooked you the hell out of me just now. You're like. <laughs> I was like, is there a way that I'm not watching the match right now? I'm just like, are we already in shambles at the first match? God. We can see into the code. I'm so confused. I am too. I just can see what they're doing, like in stage tracking and all that, so don't worry oh, about okay. it. On Smash GG, right? Yeah, that's correct. I didn't know <laughs> if that was an option on Smash GG. But anyway, we got the oh, green. Like, I believe Elu's name. Uh, mm -hmm. Town... Like Helper said, Town and City counterpick. Uh, I don't really know. Other than other than uh, a better disadvantage, uh, maybe jumping over Gaming Watch and boxes. I don't really know how this is gonna help him too much in the matchup. Uh, and I know he's probably just better with this character, so it could be just that. Um, I can but imagine. also like the added like mobility might just be like it'll it'll be easier to try to whiff punish like a lot of what Game and Watch does, right? Maybe me Brawler lacks um either like as disjointed hitbox hitboxes or, or just like the speed to, to be able to dart in and out. 
Right, and more chances to be more mobile, less chances to get hit by that down smash on your landings. Especially a character like Greninja, who can really delay and hide uh, their landings. Uh, he was but for a now, good job of landing safely on Pink Cage's shield, like spacing back here really, really nicely. Ooh. And this is actually kind of interesting because he was going from a character who had few out of shield options, maybe an up smash out of shield with Brawler, uh, up B out of shield, uh, to, to Greninja, who doesn't have any of those. And uh, I feel like on Life Fight, out of shield options are pretty important, right? Because not all the time can you react. Uh, accordingly or as as well as you could offline it's but good to have like an old reliable thing that you can just buy oh, oh yeah the knockback on that key is ridiculous taunts are out oh that could be a lot oh he's gonna air dodge through it we're not seeing too much aggression we're, we're seeing attempts at getting something started from people but nothing seems to be working kind of these hitboxes you know repeated working around the platforms uh, hiding his landings, using his projectiles, narrowing in to Elu, uh, not allowing Elu to get anything started. Ooh, wow, that could have been that could have been a really early kill, especially mm -hmm. on Game Watch, who, who's definitely suspect to die at uh, at these percents. Uh, Pink Cage is doing a really good job of just like standing his ground, like he's holding the stage, not like completely in the corner, but he's like giving <laughs> Elu like space and he's positioning himself really, really well. Wow, he just. He's barely missing it. I don't know why that's missing, actually. The down tilt up smash. It Maybe it's the, difficult to get, like, a frame-perfect link on uh, online. Yeah, I want to assume it's that. It's e yeah, it's either that or, or Game Watch is just so light that he's out of confirmed percent for that. So I Oh, wow, he really found that up smash. That was kind of OD. Uh, we can see a lot of bear moves coming out from from King Cage. Oh, actually gonna bear out of shield this time. Uh, using utilizing his bears, looking for the kill with the down smash again, but uh, Elu with the extra height from his full hops. He's got gonna... the two frame with the down tilt, but uh, not able to convert anything off of it. But he two frames is up to you with down tilt? Yeah. That's kinda that's kinda hurt you. How the heck do you do that? With Greninja's down tilt? Okay. Maybe See, that's what I mean. Attack, but it, it was difficult to tell because he could have just inputted a, a dash attack at the ledge, which kind of looks exactly the same as down tilt without the movement. Oh, that was, I think, uh, he's gonna try to kill him now, but that's gonna be risky. Try to kick, try to take that offline, I dare you. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get, he's gonna try to get something started from the ledge again. Uh, gonna miss his confirms. Now, this isn't looking... He's almost a full stock behind, but the way Elu has been playing now versus the beginning of the game has gradually been changing. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see it go last hit. We know Pink Cage, he's just like holding back and, and just pressing forward. And he knows that he has no incentive to approach. But now he's a whole stock up. Why not just wait for Elu to overextend once? Oh, nice. yes. Instead of going for the up smash, he notices that Game Watch is pretty light, even at like 90% when he's down to. Probably better to just go for the fair. I guess he caught uh, Pink Cage mashing his way up back to neutral. Uh, he's gonna get a fair, 69.1%. Oh. Good back okay. keeping Pink Cage in the corner. And right now, Illu's just waiting for Pink Cage to press a button anytime he's in disadvantage. He's waiting for the back end to come out. Greninja's up smash does so much damage. I'm surprised the down smash actually caught Elu uh, from the buff and tries to use the unorthodox range of Greninja's pivot grab. Sort of win neutral there, but gonna miss his opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you uh, see Elu slightly mistiming, like, uh, maybe miscalculating how much drift he has, and he's like diving under the stage with his Ooh, uh, this neutral. He found his way in with the down tilt fair. Uh, not gonna get too much for it. We're gonna go for a grab. No dash attack. Gonna win the neutral exchange. Yeah, if I'm Pink Cage, I do not want to see a game three the way Elu is playing. Oh, that uh -huh, should take. That, that's it. <laughs> Elu was like, he had such a good read. He was like, okay, I know exactly what I have to do. I know how to like perfectly time everything now. Yeah. But then it was just a little bit too late. 